Okay, this is part three of a testimonial from a man that if you listen to what he says, you will be absolutely convinced that nothing happened on Iwo Jima. It's taken from the video called Iwo Jima, 36 Days of Hell, The True Story. And the flames were escorted to the cave and they all ran out the back end of it, you know. There was the other end of the cave, and that's, I'd been there just a moment or two earlier. And uh, there were about, just about six of us that were up at the uh, other side of the cave, you know, up at the, at, at the end of a, a draw, you know, just a gully. And <laughs> we suddenly got a lot of fire from the, our left, you know, from the gully. And then my men all came, went up to the edge of the gully and grenades began to come at us, you know. They would hit the ground and <laughs> then it rolled down into the, into the uh, gully and they explode. And our guys were throwing grenades down the other way at the Japanese, <laughs> we were firing up at them from below and throwing the grenades back. <laughs> we were pulling the pin and we would you know, hold it for a couple of seconds, then roll it down or throw it, you know, so it would explode, we're not giving them time to throw it back. But they were shooting at us too. They were we were just getting a hell of a fire. And remember, Nick put his helmet up, and it came back with a big hole in it. And <laughs> he put his helmet up, and it came back with a hole in it. You know what? There's a hole in our head. That's where the hole is. It's in our heads because we believed all this crap for all these years. Now, I'm one of the ones who believed all this crap until a certain point in time when I met Dave J. And Dave J showed me war is a hoax. This man is not even a good hoaxer. He just can't stand. He can't stand to tell you the biggest BS. And he's making it up as he goes along. He doesn't even have a script. Frost, my other squad leader, was a, he'd been a barman, and he, the Browning automatic rifle, he had a Browning automatic rifle that weighed about 20 pounds and gave semi-automatic fire. And he was up there as long as he could, you know. And I remember he, he backed off with this, uh, from this heavy fire, holding this bar. He said, Christ Almighty, he said, there's hundreds of them in there. Why can't they send a whole company instead of just a couple of squads? And I said, it's all we got. You know. <laughs> so he's in the middle of shooting and killing people, and he's making some snide comment to his buddy, right? Why couldn't they have sent a bunch of squads? <laughs> Look at him, he's having such a blast. So I'm going to end this on part three, and I can't resist. I'm going all the way through this, whether people watch it or not, because this is the biggest bunch of BS ever to be recorded by me about war hoaxing. End of this part, third part of the series.